Welcome to Endgame. We uh, host today are Sype, Nomano, and I think Tapa. Uh, today's discussion is about the VR chat anime community. Uh, and let's uh, let's get it going. Yeah. Yeah. So before we start talking about the VR chat anime community, we're going to do a community spotlight and talk about the future with who, who did you pick? Is it Meme Devourer? Are you still here? Oh, come on up. Come up to the front. So we can all look at He's you. He's coming in the center. Why am I here? Yes. Yeah. What's going on? We're talking about the future. What's going to happen to humanity? Like, how much faith do you have in the world? What, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Probably things are going to be fine. Perhaps. Where do you see yourself in 100 years? Like, if everything's going to be fine, what does that mean 100 years from now? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see <laughs> you? Well, you don't imagine possible. having an extended life lifetime? Absolutely. I would love to have that. Death scares the shit out of me. It keeps me awake at night. But no, <laughs> I'm see. pretty sure I'll be dead long before the technology is available. Oh, no. Have, you're, have, so you're not going to make the curve? Probably not. <laughs> Knowing my life, it'll probably be like a couple years after I die. Is that just you being pessimistic, or do you actually yes. have a good idea about when you think things are going to turn? So, okay, that's not based in any kind of logic. That's just like an emotional no, but, reaction. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything that you're looking forward to or something that you're, that you're excited about, even though you might miss it? I don't know, probably more video games. That's about it, really. Maybe more VR stuff. When you say, like, more video games in VR, like, what does that look like to you? Kind of like what it is right now in VR, but just higher quality and more, re more realistic feeling. Do you think, how long I do you think it's going to take us for, to actually get to the realism yeah. of not being able to t distinguish reality from virtual reality? To be honest, I'm not sure if we'll ever even reach that point. You'd have to be like pretty immersed in VR for yeah. like, long periods of time to feel that way. I don't know. <coughs> Sword Art Online. Or so. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online. First season, though. <laughs> they ignore everything after that. I, I guess I have to actually watch yeah. this Only show because online. people seem to yell it out yeah, all the time. Don't, during don't the game. watch it. It's pretty good. Don't, don't, it's don't really honestly good. a meme at this point uh, to just say. Is it a meme for being bad or for being good? It, it, it's, it's a meme bad. for being bad. It's, it's a mass being bad. Oh. <laughs> it's too mainstream. I believe there's also huge plot holes. I don't know, though. I don't it's debatable. I've seen it yet. I just it has general acclaim. Claim. As far as, like, virtual reality, you, like, you don't see it getting confused with reality anytime soon, right? <laughs> so, like, you, you can clearly tell the difference between what's real anytime and what's not soon, real. Anytime soon, no. I can but, like, clearly tell the difference, especially the screen door effect on my headset. Right now, with this current first stage of technology, you, know, you have one of the first headsets that's ever been available. And you can yes. see all the problems. You see the screen door effect. Like, how yes. immersed are you? Like, do you fall into this? Like, do you not ever forget where you are? Or, like, do, do you, are you always keeping it at a distance? I'm a little bit immersed. Like, sometimes I take off the headset, and I think I'm facing a, one direction, but I'm actually facing another. Uh, well, it's, I mean, I, I kind of want to ask him what things might go wrong, because most people are more pessimistic and they're afraid of the future. But I guess yeah. if he doesn't bring that up, we might as well just skip over it. Oh, I, I think it's possible to be pessimistic, but hopeful about the future. It might seem like we're in a car heading towards a cliff and we're about to just like, you know, drive right off the side. But we can still have a smile on our face and appreciate the time we have. And the, we don't know where the car is going to land, is my point. Yeah, It's it going to explode. Land, it, it could be not that bad. <laughs> or maybe there's airbags like really good airbags who knows <laughs> sorry all right thank you me yeah. power <laughs> okay yes. i feel like we should all do like a hell yeah or something i love hell you baby. yeah oh yeah. Yeah. that's what we should do for the photograph yeah. all right I'm just <laughs> Meme, how long have you been in Heck the anime yes. community? Like in VR yeah. chat or like yeah. <laughs> were you an anime character primarily when you first joined VR chat? No, there's, when there's I was who... when I first joined, I had the default paladin avatar. Ooh. Eventually someone made and... me a custom avatar and then I became anime. So why? <laughs> what, 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 what drew you in that direction? <laughs> anime girls are pretty. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an yeah. aesthetic yeah. choice. Yes, it's mainly. No, this is an <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting example of something yes. we're going to talk about, which is how people end up joining the sub different sub communities within VR chats. Oh, well, so I like my immediate thing is like, OK, did you like what do we call this community? Right. Like right now we're calling it the anime community. But is that the is that That's the core assumption. of the community? Is that really the heart of the, the whole thing? So there, there was some debate on this. Um, 
actually in the days coming up to this because I, I asked the community kind of in general, um, most of which are kind of actually we're pretty much everywhere in this room at this point. Wow, geez, everybody came in. Um, and most of the responses I got were along the lines of, well, that's about it. It describes the the primary, I guess, seed or uh, initial interest um, that a lot of people have in the group. Aesthetic, yeah. Exactly. It might be aesthetic. It might be some other reason, um, I'm sure many of which we'll uh, touch on. I guess the primary thing that holds uh, or brings the community together, at least initially for that very first little bit of time, is that there is a general interest in anime and Japanese culture and that kind of stuff. Uh, different people have different degrees of interest in it. Um, like there are people who keep up to date with the latest seasons and the latest shows on a day-to-day -day basis. And then there's people like me who are kind of in between, like we watched stuff a long time ago and don't really keep up now. And then there's people who have watched literally like a Miyazaki movie, which is essentially Japanese Disney. And that's it. Mm. It, it varies basically. So uh, in, in short, the name is a very... A uh, terse term and a little clunky sounding, but we couldn't really come up with anything better. Like, I wonder if that's just going to stick. Like, I, I, I don't think we're going to arrive yeah. at a better label today, um, right? Like, it's... I agree with you. Yeah, I think it's it's kind well, of stuck the way it is. When someone enters VR chat, uh, visually, this is the commonality that they see. Well, for the most part, is people who have anime like characters. Which is one question that we had is like, right? We I think most people in the room can can like conceptualize the sub community that's existed which is natural what we talked about too is that like as populations grow this has to happen this is like something that will happen as vr chat continues to grow um but like what defines it exactly are you thinking more from the outside or from the inside yeah yeah from the outside visually appear <laughs> like appearance wise like it's like some uh there's like a brightness to some they're bright to the point of being blinding. Like when we're in a dark space, I don't know. You guys have these shaders on where you're you're always emitting a glow, and you're so bright. There, there's definitely an aesthetic style uh, that draws people in. It, it's familiar, maybe, or they just simply enjoy the style or like the style. Or it's even in some cases, it can be simplistic. Um, it can be kind of a a flat look to it. Like for example, the skin on this avatar and the dress and everything is fairly flat where compared to, for example, your avatar, which has a lot of complex things going on. So that might appeal to one person versus another person. Maybe they want to uh, have that kind of look, uh, something more complex mm -hmm. or something less complex. We're talking about sort of from the way people are seeing it from the outside or the way that we're perceiving it, perceiving it. But then once you get to know the community, what is it that keeps people coming back? Right. So like anime is sort of a superficial thing. I think that's sort of the outer layer of the onion that we're going to peel back. Like, why do people get in there and then stick around? Like, what else is going on? Once you get past the, okay, yeah, we all like anime and, you know, wear cute anime girls slash guy avatars, mostly girl. Then you kind of do get to the point where the community actually becomes this really close knit group of friends, um, just like many other communities. I mean, it's like, we, we talk with our friends and we, we have a circle of people that we, you know, hang out mostly with within the community. So that's sub sub communities, essentially little cliques, but they support each other. The people in these communities support each other, whether it be by talking to them or just simply, you know, being there for them. Uh, everyone in any community, in any online, offline community, whatever, there, there's a reason why a person is a member of a community, whether it mm. be to help oh other people or to get help themselves or to progress from uh, one of those stages to the other. People feel more welcome here because they can be who they want without being judged. Because like if you mm, are discussing yeah. anime on the internet, mm -hmm. people some there's some people out there who just want to troll and hate on you. Yeah, and we talked about that earlier too, a little <laughs> bit about a litmus test. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that, Tupper, what we were talking about before about like, yeah. I guess, how do new users react I, I want to give you credit because you came up with litmus test, whatever my term was, was horrible, but it's a touch test. And in this particular case, the touch is upon a brand new player in VR chat coming in, still wearing the default, whatever avatar they chose, comes in and they see, you know, Matt Six and uh, Ranging Stars and Snip and all these different anime characters running around. And what's their reaction? And depending on that reaction, you can kind of 
get a judgment call on how they would integrate into a community like this. They might not be interested at all. Um, they might just say, you know, okay, well, there's some people uh, that are wearing these cartoon characters. I don't know what this is. And then there's people who will say, oh, that's that character from the anime I really like. I'll go talk to them. And then, you know, it, it's a seed, really. I mean, it, it, judging by someone's reaction from that, uh, you can get a feel for how they would integrate mm -hmm. into such a community. On the negative side, if someone comes up and starts, starts, you know, trolling you, uh, calling you a weeaboo, true. all that kind of stuff, then obviously that's not going to work. From my experience, this is this is ex extremely subjective, but people who will immediately upon seeing a person uh, online in any environment, including VRChat, and their first reaction is to troll them just based on, you know, how they look even in a game or something like that. Uh, it's well, probably yeah, not that great of a person. Yeah, that's our... That's our deepest yeah. insecurity. Uh, I think anyone's deepest insecurity is being judged negatively instantly upon yeah, visual inspection. For example, mm -hmm. I do yeah. live action role play and I actually have different costumes to dress up in and I walk in public with it as well while I'm traveling to these places. And the first instinct to a lot of people, especially younger people, is to just try and take the, you know, try and piss, piss you off, try and make fun out of you. I wonder if that kind of stuff happens because, like, LARPing and the anime community is, I mean, it's somewhat mainstream, I guess, but, like, it's still new to a lot of people, right? It's like the still, they're still yeah. experiencing the first time in their first reactions. Well, no, like, if it's I wonder. to the public, as in, you know, I mean, if, it's, if people see it in public that have, you know, that, that don't tend to be a part of the anime community or the LARPing community, they tend to think it's weird and yeah. wrong just because they don't mm -hmm. know about yeah. it. You know what I mean? Uh, I really agree with that Welsh guy when he says, I've always liked the concept of you know, LARPing and RP and that kind of thing, but I've never been actually able to express that until now. You've always uh, hidden the it? Of being someone other than myself, because I hate myself. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's, so so I mean, that's, that's, that's so strange. It's not really, uncommon. You don't sound old enough for like, that. Well, I think when people say something like that, but you're also able to experience, like, this kind of experience, too, that you're able to find different ways of expressing yourself that are situations in which you don't hate yourself and that's really what you're saying yes. about hearing someone else talk about the fact that they role play so here's a connection that's happening and like a profound emotional experience for someone simply through a community discussion in vr chat about different avatars i mean it's it's interesting that different types of avatars and belongingness can change how people feel about themselves in real life but yeah well i, I mean uh Numan or tupper do you guys have anything I, i'm sort of just curious if too? like if it will get better over time as it becomes more not mainstream but just like more in the open some of these subcultures right like there is like a subculture yeah. comes out and when it's first introduced people their first reaction is not always like the best but then like as they get yeah. familiar with it they might find that oh maybe this is something i enjoy and i wonder where we are in the process right because like especially with vr chat and i'd be curious about the anime community like if they've seen a change over time with like acceptance, I guess it'd be difficult to tell because there's a constant inflow of people, especially lately, right? There's like a, a, the population is continually growing. I wonder if like years down the road, if there's just going to be less people failing that litmus test, right? Because like they will be already familiar right. with what the community is about. I agree with that, um, especially with your, uh, specifically with your influx comment, because right now it's, Essentially, if you are a troll to the someone who's wearing an anime avatar or the anime community, if, if you want to put it that way, um, you're kind of sentencing yourself to harassing, <laughs> you know, the majority of VR chat at this point. I mean, they're, they're, they're putting themselves into a bad situation. So that aside, uh, if someone is trolling someone or, you know, calling them out or 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 failing this litmus test really, really, really badly. Um, they're probably going to be getting along the lines where they're actually like causing moderation, like infractions. Yeah, I like the idea of a litmus test. You're talking about, you know, people who are not going to be accepting of a lot of other things. Honestly, I mean, the qualities that everyone's talking about have been in VR chat for the three and a half years that I've been in it. I mean, it's like the avatar mm -hmm. room back when there were only 15 people at a meetup or something like that was exactly what the culture was. And like Gunter was leading those meetups and perpetuating that culture. And I think this is a sub, that's why I like calling it a sub community because it's still representing the core community values of VR chat, but it's just a group that's identifiable within it, which is like a sub group. Mm -hmm. Also Tupper, like where do you see sub communities growing? Like, okay, this is, this is one sub community. We're going to have, when we have like thousands of people in VR chat, 
um, which we never thought there would be 200 consecutive people back then, but it's crazy. But if we have thousands of people, uh, what kind, oh, where geez. do you see kind of the end game? Like, where do you see the future of sub communities heading? You can kind of scale it up um, already just by looking at other online communities uh, that are not exactly the same in delivery as VR chat, but same in general structure. Something like uh, another video game like World of Warcraft or another social game like Second Life. These mm. games all have groups and sub communities that form based on their interests, primarily, I would say. Like you, you go and you join a club in, in real life uh, out of interest for that subject, and then you meet people there and then you become a part of the community. I would see communities popping up like that in VR chat, but it's going to be. It's not going to be the same road, right? Because we interact with the environment and we react, uh, we interact with uh, other players differently in VR chat than you do in any other uh, game and any other application. I mean, maybe there'll be people who are more interested in the game aspects of VR chat and the various metaverses, or maybe there'll be people who, yeah, you know, they just want to play steel and gold all day long. Who knows? I don't know. Like, basically, people are going to be able to express themselves in new ways, and it's going to help regulate their emotions in real life, and it's going to help them. And like, in teenage years, we all have identity exploration, where we're looking at becoming different people and different roles and things like that. And I think that VR chat is enabling a non-judgmental, real social interaction to occur to allow people to express those uh, underlying identities and stuff. And that's, like, mm -hmm. a really beautiful thing. So, someone want to say is about that whole, like... Uh whatever test you called it. Yeah, litmus litmus. Test. <laughs> I can't litmus say that test. word either, dude. Christmas, but litmus. Like pretty much a test for a lot of that because I've only been here for like a week. I had to say like the whole anime community, a lot of the time I just mostly see some of the silly shit that ends up happening. Like uh, a couple days ago, there was this person going around with like a, one of those avatars, I think. Zadine? Yeah, they were like Nef Army. Yeah, and they were like running around with the uh yeah, with the stormtrooper and just oh, yeah, yeah, with Zion going that around doing Zion. that. Of his army. Yeah. And my reaction to it was basically this looks like fun. I want to join in on this. And then they ended up joining in on it. Is Zeon an exception or is it a silly community? Are you guys a bunch of silly gooses? Uh I th I think that's accurate. I'd say the anime community kind of has a big root in the, uh, I, it, it pains me to say this in this way, but kind of the, the meme culture, the current state of comedy kind of in general, where uh, doing something funny and repeating it over and over or referencing something funny um, is comedy itself, which the, the, the opinion on that uh, aside, um, that kind of in, uh, encourages people to have very, silly behavior silly goose as you say um do weird things just to get a reaction that kind of thing and i mean it's 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 fun it's it it changes things up um for example uh i mean there's a character over there who will feed you apples for six minutes straight while your headset is off or as you just did earlier when i was yes, waiting when i was waiting right like there's these gimmicks that mm. these different characters have or do and whether it be out of a wish to be recognized for it or just because they think it's funny, so they're going to do it or whatever it may be. Um, that's especially prevalent yeah, in, um, in, in our community. I think it may be just kind of stemming where the general anime fan typically lives on the internet. I see that like five people are in line, so I want to get, right, yeah, um, no, let's continue. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to get, make oh, sure we get the okay. community opinions. Oh, your name is actually All that right. Welsh guy. I thought that other kid was just putting you in a box. I didn't realize that was your name. <laughs> no. <laughs> no <it's laughs> name. My name. I'm That's Welsh. Funny. In reference to what Sykes said about it changes you emotionally, and uh, yeah, being yourself, but it kind of brings out your confidence because you can be who you want without any judgment. You know, they're more interested in what you're doing and who you are. You know what I mean? You get treated like a human being, basically, <laughs> rather than <laughs> someone who's weird. Yeah. I mean, I was sort of well, joking uh, when I asked if you guys were like sillier than the other, but like, I think that a real question is like, do you think you're, it's a more accepting community than the normal, right? Like, I mean. Is that a special yeah. aspect of that group? No, I, a hundred percent. Yes. Like uh, out of all the different, com I mean, I've, I've been a part of a lot of different communities myself since, uh, I guess I've been in some form of internet community since like 1998 or 1999. And this is by far and large the most accepting open community uh, I've ever seen. 
whatever quality a human being could possibly be, it just doesn't matter. They, like it's, it, I wouldn't say it's irrelevant, but I would say it's just like okay, that's how you are, cool. And yeah, like, I was what, except for what, one, let's except chat, for let's, the equality yeah. of acceptance, that the quality of being non-judgmental is something that's shared. It's extremely um, important, and that's a really yeah. positive thing. Yeah, that's really cool. I would assume that's I mean, a more important quality than liking anime. Oh, right, yeah, like you can probably be in that group without yes, liking that's anime. Great. That's a but, great point. I mean, we we absolutely have members of the community who either don't wear anime avatars, uh, or haven't watched any form of anime, or only, like I said before, are very casual watchers. But the fact that they are accepting and the fact that they are open and aggressively non-judgmental of people is what makes well, yeah, them I was, welcome into the group. No, I was okay. coming into this expecting the community to be. You know, somewhat harsh in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, you, like you expect anywhere on the inter- internet. You see trolls everywhere. I was expecting to actually come here with people judging you for what you're doing or for being who you are. I mean, I don't have VR, as you can clearly tell, but I'm really enjoying my time here because it, it, I've met so awesome. many people and I've got new friends. It's just, it's great. I love it. Actually, yeah. Thanks, Will's going. The, the way I see it, the need for an environment where you can do this kind of thing has existed for a fairly long time. Like like a few other people here, I've I've come from mm. a lot of um, sub communities based on a Japanese style forum known for being a little kind of harsh, a little uh, a little in your face, a little offensive sometimes. Oh, right, um, who, who who knows? When you when you watch anime, anime is a very kind of fantastical thing. Uh, it has very nice character designs. There's, it, it's a very nice version of, of of real life, and I think everyone I've met uh, in connection with like such forums and stuff all share the kind of desire for anime to be real, <laughs> in a way. Like they all want this anime wonderland. They all want they, they all want to be the anime girl, or they want to be with the anime girl, or they want to just have like they want to go through like a parallel of Japanese school life where they they're with their friends and having fun every day. Social connection. When they get to a place like this, like when they come into VR chat, when they see how how nice it can be, they they don't want to jeopardize their chances of being a part of it. You've taken them out of the offensive forum and you've given them actually like the thing that they desire. And the last thing they want to do is is get rid of that. Like in, in the past, I've I've been I've been offensive. I've yeah. been a troll. I've I've said some I've, I've said some shit. But in this kind of environment, there's a, there's very kind of I, I care a lot about personal interaction. I care a lot about the people I've met here. And I definitely wouldn't want to uh, lose it. That's, That's really good to hear, man. Because yeah. that makes me yeah. really excited for the future. Like, I feel like yeah, that me too. makes me a lot more optimistic. <laughs> it's going to be a first of many. And it's so exciting to be able to be like talking about how this is formed and how much positivity it's bringing into like VR chat and everything. It's really cool. Is the, the extra element is that as opposed to being like on an anonymous message board or something, why is it more important that you don't lose this community? Does it just feel more real because it's like embodied? Social presence, so like, you, yeah, yeah. Feels that more the main difference? You have a if name you for yourself. Like, presumptuously kind of boil down that archetype of person, they're essentially uh, someone who considers themselves unattractive but hates society even more. They sit in their room going like, ah, fuck everything else. I'm going to be on the PC. I'm going to play games. Ah, I'm going to insult people online. I wish anime were real. And then you get the you, like you make anime real, like you make you make the okay, the, qu- the anime girl they like real. Anime, they don't for... want to. Can you guys vote? I'm just curious. Thumbs up or thumbs down? If that describes uh, your experience and interest in anime, just the anime. So, so but, like buying curious. into the fantastical element is what you're asking. Yeah, just that like, description. Yeah. Was that description accurate of your own experience of? Uh, no, that was all wow, a thumbs up. I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, fascinating. Oh. Okay. One naysayer. Uh, okay, two. a couple phones down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Real society kind of isn't really here. Like there, there, there isn't. You don't have the the duties. You don't have the, the the judgment of society. Instead, what you what you see is like, you see anime. You see you see the things you like. And rather than being offensive, you you, you try to be funny. You try to be entertaining. You meet these people and you want to make them like you there's like an investment in the community that you basically provide like you spend time with these people you talk to them i mean you stay up until i mean i've i've done it and you've done it and you're doing it right now you stay up until the wee hours of the morning you know talking to them about 
anything from, hey, did you see this anime? Yeah, it was really shitty. Or you talk about, hey, I had a really bad day at work today. Or, you know, my home life is really horrible or I need someone to talk to. And this community and other communities do that. And the fact that um, you kind of do that while you're in this kind of escapism mechanic, while you're using this as a form of communication, it makes people who normally would never, ever open up about those kinds of things to other people do it as if it was Mm. not even like any kind of effort. It's effortless for these people to be able to talk to these people, uh, to their friends in the community because of what Noe is saying. That's beautiful. Yeah. Sorry, as someone who's interested in becoming a psychologist, I'm just like, this is such a positive thing and mental health and everything is great. It really is. Simultaneously, I obviously, uh, for various reasons, I wouldn't want to call out specific cases, but I can also very, very surely say that there are cases of people who have come into the community kind of in kind of in a bad way. Um, you know, life isn't uh, being too kind to them at that moment. And then the community swoops in and they have friends and they talk to them. And, you know, two, three weeks later, you talk to them again. It's like, oh, my God, this is a brand new person. Like they're, they're yeah. feeling so much better. And all it took was just them talking to someone, maybe someone that they couldn't find in real life or didn't want to find in real life. So it's this happens and, and all the time. I mean, this is a nearly weekly basis. So and that's interesting. But that's something that's also happening to everyone who's joining social VR as well. What would you call, is this like considered like a virtual race? It's like a whole belonging, but exciting and community and culture. And I mean, I don't know. I'm not an anthropologist, which I feel like would be the best person to ask about. uh, It's a kind of a a virtual tribe, right? But it's a tribe that we choose to join, I guess. Maybe it's just a strong community as well. I mean, I, I don't know what the description language should be used to describe it. Catapult, hello. Hey, Hey, Nomino, how you doing? Hey, Tupper. Hi, Sec. Hey. I joined VR Chat last spring, and, you know, I started looking at the characters running around and whatnot, and the one that caught my eye was Rad. He was the first one to have an anime, and he's been wearing pretty much the same avatar. You've just been enhancing it uh, since, and it kind of blew me away. So all these animes, I, I admire them. I find them really cool because there's so much they can do with them. The imagination is, is the only limitation. That's why I'll often, not, you know, I'm not trying to stalk anybody. Often I'll run up the Tupper and stare in the eyes because I love looking at what they do with the eyes and stuff, you know, and, and, and just all the details, the hair and the dresses and all that. There's a lot of detail in some of these things. And to me, I don't believe in calling them um, anime community to me they're just part of VR chat just like everybody else otherwise you'd have to start calling the robot community the uh, uh, superhero <laughs> community and so on and so mm-hmm. forth uh, <laughs> because we got everything here <laughs> you know so yeah. to me they're just they're just another person in, in VR chat that's doing their own thing and I admire them for it. just the skill involved in you know making oh, some of these avatars it's just mind blowing <laughs> yeah it's, it's interesting that you bring up the labeling problem it's really hard to come up with a name that isn't, you know, because Tupper, you made the point that it, it's a lot of assumptions being made about like calling it the anime community when that's not what you guys have most in common. I don't know. It, it's it, it's Is common. there even a sharp border? Like, like, or is this all just in our minds? Like, why is it important that we take this community and then section it off and go like, oh, it belongs in this bubble? When I don't know if there's well, a ton of other people on the, here that do that. The only physical slash virtual barrier that i can't can think of is that there is a separate so there's the main vr chat discord the chat service we use and then there's the uh we have several other offshoot servers and the most active that i'm aware of offshoot server is the vr chat anime community vr uh, discord server i think that may kind of provide a small uh divider um but i mean it's it, it isn't like you have to be in there um to you know be a part of this community I, mean, I don't know. Is that, it really that's right a hard to question. Call it a, a subculture when it has such an overwhelming majority for up until <laughs> this last surge, <laughs> I didn't actually recognize. I'm not even sure when it went from just being the VR chat community to actually having enough people to make subculture distinctions. I started playing a really long time ago, like when VR chat first came out, and there was no one on here at all. And I stopped playing for a couple couple months a good amount of time and i finally came back uh just uh, i want to say about a month ago maybe and i saw 
everyone here with all these characters and I was pretty overwhelmed and overwhelmed with excitement. It's awesome. And yeah, so I decided to start playing because like there was actually a community now. Yeah. It's interesting how fast this is happening, right? Like you you step away yes. and you come back and the whole like and just VR chat in general, right? Not just the anime community, but like yeah. It's we're we're seeing this growth happen in real time and it's like it's interesting to try and dissect it from within. Like anthropologists are going to study what has happened. Cult, like they're going to look back at like how things change and how it compares to like the growth of new civilizations and stuff. Because you're right, it is a much faster time scale. But are the same processes happening that happened in the, in real civilizations as they grow? They'll like, need to study yeah, it because like know. how did the anime community take over VR chat and then take over the world? Like how did they <laughs> take control from us? Um, <laughs> Kenneth, well, do you have anything else to add? The only last thing I want to say is to all of you guys out there, if you see me coming up to your face, please don't be alarmed. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to admire your work. That's all. Some of this stuff just blows my mind what some of these people are doing, especially now awesome. with five, six, the blinking eyes and all the weird, neat stuff that they're doing with their eyes. It just blows me away. It, it, it's pretty cool uh, being a part of this. Like, I, I'm, I'm really surprised at how... Um, how much this has sort of taken over. Like, as you said, like this community at, at first was just, um, you know, generally just general pop culture sort of things. And now it's been <laughs> taken over by anime. Like uh, it, it's really awesome that all these people can come in here and, you know, express themselves through these avatars. Cause uh, normally if, if you'd want to yeah. dress up as a character, you would have to purchase, uh, um, you know, like a costume and uh, different wigs and things like that and uh, go to a, a convention. And um, I, I go to these too. I used to cosplay. And uh, the thing about that is, you know, it's, it's a lot of money to, to buy these costumes and to, um, to actually attend the, mm. the, the event. But like in here, I mean, you, you just have to buy VR and you can shape shift into different characters and things like that. And, at those physical events, you only get to uh, be around those people for maybe three days or so. But in here, you can really get to know people and really, you know, you spend much more time with, with these people since you're doing it from the comfort of your own home, you know? It's, it's interesting. It's more... almost like an ongoing convention that you can check in with at any point, right? Like we no longer have to mm. have it all fixated on a specific time and place mm -hmm. because it's hard to get yeah. together. It can just be indefinite and just keep going and you check in whenever you want. That's a super good analogy. That's a really good analogy. Right. Interesting. Yeah. That's actually a really, really good analogy. Then I guess what happens at the cosplay conferences um, that hasn't been reproduced in VR chat and is that something, I guess, moving forward that we're going to start to see? I mean, there's a lot of things that go on at these conventions. Cosplaying is just a single uh, aspect of them, but Actually, I take it back because a lot of the things that go on at, like, at these conventions are things like you go into a room and you watch anime with, with a bunch of people. Oh, wait, we do that. <laughs> or you dress up as your character. Yes. Oh, wait, we do that. You know, so uh, the only thing now easier. is you've got to set up, you know, you exactly, it's easier. Here. You can do this from home. In the future, so, so you know, right as soon as we figure out how uh, VR chat's going to monetize, then maybe there'll even be a market, you know, place that you can sell yeah. different things. I think the reason that it's been so successful here is because as opposed to a con where you go to dress up, here you, you're you already what you want to be and you're just here to socialize. Absolutely. Mm, yeah, very good point I like right that. There. We're going to keep going. Like Nobody a, else get in like line. This has got, like, we, we're going to try to get through this, but this has got to be it. Oh, oh be it. God, you're putting so much pressure on me now. There's no pressure. There's no pressure. <laughs> uh, well, hello. I'm Garut. Hello. And I live in Finland. Hello. I've been, uh, like, maybe up two weeks right now into this game. And I have found about yeah. this community that <laughs> is not really accepted in the real world. Uh, it's yeah. been yeah. changing for me since I haven't really been that open in uh, the real world. So here I can actually like feel my own change. Do, do you feel a change like in the real world as, as well? Like, do you think this will be a crossover at all? Um, like the way no. you feel here? No, I, I probably wouldn't do this in the real world. I, I'm just too shy for this kind of stuff in there. It's, uh, 
It's really hard we'll for see. me. You know, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. But there's a lot of people who come into VR chat who feel anxious in social situations outside of VR chat, but because they've been able to experience things and like you know and things mm-hmm. like that, that has actually helped in real life over a long period, a longer period of time. But it's a it's a cool thing. It's just really like all quickly. Different... Can you give us? Give us a thumbs up if that's the case for you, because I would assume it's a significant oh, like, thing. For me, I would say I've done it. Oh. Yes, well, um, so, many. so many. Thank you for sharing those. This is, I mean, I think that's a beautiful thing, and look at how look at how many people are sharing that experience. I'm I have. I mean, well, my um, Apple Watch tells me like I'm above hundred, whatever Ooh. thing. It's like. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm fucking nervous. Like, I'm in front of a bunch of people, like talking right now. I mean, it's a nerve-wracking experience. But... This is in real life. I thought this is too much for me. I'm kind of panicking too. Thank you. All right, yeah, Professor Snap. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That was the, fascinating. The good words. Oh, Snap. We met yeah. Snap too in real life. Yes. Yep. I'll keep it quick, but I felt like I should share some thoughts from someone who wasn't actually part of the anime community from the start. I joined almost four months ago. I mostly had game characters. I had I was not into anime at all, actually. I'd watched one previously and um, didn't really know any of the characters. Most of my knowledge actually comes from VR chat. Uh-oh. After a couple months in the community, I'm meeting all these people with these avatars. I got closer with them over time. And then eventually, I just kind of got more interested in it. I actually uploaded this avatar after 5 6 hit when my avatar was deleted and I kind of stuck with it. And it just kind of felt like I'm in a part of a closer tight-knit community like i wasn't i didn't really join the community because of the common anime interest i kind of received that interest mm. from the community i'm sorry right, let's keep going the party, thank you snap what's the point of this room you so, in, what's okay. up on the hello yeah doing good uh on met in real life uh, also yep <laughs> on discussion of the community and it fracturing into sub communities and labels and seeing vr chat grow from like Hey, there's 20 people at the Sunday meetup. This is amazing. There's so many people online uh, to seeing it yes. uh, not drop below 100 on weekends. I've seen the social dynamics of it change. And so far, I've been trying to monitor it. And so far, I'm comparing it to like a virtual country or I guess micro country at this point where there isn't mm. the annoying stuff where there's problems with yes. land or many resources you have to worry about. Mm. These sub-communities, rather than them being focused around a particular thing like anime, in this case, it's more like a town where, sure, the town might mine a lot of X or Y or Z or fish a lot. They also have a bunch of other people who do completely unrelated stuff also in that town hanging out talking to the people and really what brings them together is like in virtual reality anyway is common activities like watching stuff together on the yeah. screen in a room stuff like that and i feel in the future for these things to progress and things to grow nicely there just needs more of that uh, common areas in which you can talk to people about like who have similar interests or you just like hanging out with or activities in which are a bit lacking currently but hopefully they're coming with playmaker and other stuff yeah but you wouldn't know yes. anything about that right yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, but I, you totally that, that that thing, that. I think that's super important though i think that's like i think playmaker is going to bring a rev like we're gonna we can't even imagine how many how much time we're going to spend in games and activities Mm -hmm. as the ability to create those increases and like i think that's what gives us meaning and purpose is expressing ourselves through activity and it's social activity so you're sharing you're at your your you are your identity in VR chat, and then you get to go participate in this activity and get validation together or have positive experiences together. And that's a that's a very impactful thing um, that people get to do together. And that's how we bond with each other. So that's a really interesting mm-hmm. point about activity specifically, too. And there's less immersion breaking because you don't have to exit VR to do shared activities. You could do them just in virtual reality instead. I'm really looking forward to that part. Breaking immersion is a, a huge bummer for me. Um, It'd be good to, all right, thank be you. to program in VR. Yeah. So I don't have to be in desktop. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs>
I think that Stutz, you were the last one, but then you stepped out of line. Did, did, did you still want to say anything? The thing is, is he mostly touched on what I was going to talk about. Um, I've only been here for three days myself. I've known very little of the community, but everyone in this room I've seen in my uh, exploring of all these different areas and just meeting people. And I see it as more like a, almost like a neighborhood room where like, you know, these people, you've seen these people while you don't really share all your information with them and you don't really communicate with all of them. You do know some of them. It's like a day to day basis kind of thing. It's, it's just something very special that in all my years of, online uh communities that i've never really seen before even as a desktop user i've i've seen and done things that i i've never had more of a um, a connection to like an, uh, an emotional almost like almost a physical like connection where you feel the other person on the other side of the avatar it, it's hard to explain i gotta say i love the um neighborhood metaphor i do think yes, that's stronger than the country because like yeah. it does exactly feel like that is. that's a great yes yeah. because, because the number is, is small that enough that like yeah you actually get to know everybody and see everybody like when it becomes yeah. millions of people then it'll be unreasonable but we're still yeah. at the neighborhood level or a small town maybe you know it's small enough it's, it's, that's really cool still so like that was a good nugget but if anyone else has something they want to do, excuse me let me if anyone else has something they want to conclude the show on, that'd be great. Oh, I don't know. Final final thoughts from you two? As a whole, this discussion was uh, maybe not exactly on the roadmap that we planned precisely, but I imagine that's how a lot of end games go. <laughs> but that's great. okay, because I, I feel like we established something that's very important and very uh, a, a very strong point that should be made. That Calling it a VR chat anime community is a little bit reductive, because, I mean... The community is the community. The fact that we're wearing an avatar that looks like this or an avatar that looks like this or like that or whatever doesn't really much matter uh, in the grand sense because the VR chat community as a whole kind of acts the same way as this anime community acts internally. We're all very supportive. We all have the, this this very intolerant of bullying, very intolerant of not of judgmenting or judgmenting, judging people. Um, it's that's a general feeling for everyone and i think that was uh a, a big point to make Th this is one of the most welcoming communities i've ever seen online full stop so i'm, I'm glad that was established oh, it's okay if i call the episode the anime community right <laughs> like i think oh, it's yeah, no, be that's called. Fine. no and no, then we'll it's good because point. You lead into it, and you're like, oh, I'm going to learn about the anime community. And then you're like, oh, I actually learned about the entire VR chat community. So it's it's a it's a bait and switch. It's good. It's good. Neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. I couldn't imagine this discussion going any better. And, like, I think that it's, uh, I guess I'm always interested in the psychology of things. So I am was very interested in um, how these things occur and everything like that. And it's been, like, a beautiful story almost of, like, how – we have come to this point in VR chat. And I think it's just, I don't know, it's really uplifting and positive. People from different communities can come together, find what they have in common, which is radical acceptance of each other and form a neighborhood around that. And that's, that's a really beautiful thing. The second biggest thing that I've seen referred to around here as a community is definitely the Japanese community. And even them, mm -hmm. despite being um, separated by a completely different language compared to the rest of the groups here, they're incredibly welcoming. I mean, it's it's definitely not just... I mean, this loops right back to what Tupper just said. It doesn't just stop here. It's the whole community is incredible on VR chat. Yeah. Hopefully it's just going to be infectious, right? You know, we're sort of establishing a culture here that we'll hopefully maintain for a while. Well, I've only been well. in for two weeks. And I mean, the community is fantastic. Seriously, it's one of the best communities I've ever seen on the internet. And I've had, I keep finding myself coming back to this every single day so far. Because it's just so much fun. <laughs> Yes, oh shit, my I'm uh, uh, glitching out. I'm upside down. He's dying. He's dying. Oh no. What did you do? I did it. I'm frozen. So I'm I'm gone. I'm gone. So you have to get this button to work. I can't see anything. Oh wait, I can see. Oh my god, I see. I Oh, no.